stop number two of the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship took place just outside of Sacramento, California, with the 46th running of the GoPro Hangtown Motocross Classic. In 450 Moto 1, it was an all KTM show from the start. The number five of Ryan Dungey took the whole shot, but his teammate Ken Roxon on the number 94 was right there with him. There were a couple of exciting battles to watch. The two KTMs and the number seven of James Stewart battling for third with the number 41 of Trey Kennard. The KTM teammates pulled a huge lead on the rest of the field. On the first lap, Andrew Short and Phil Nicoletti came together. Nicoletti had bike problems due to the crash, and he ended up a lap down. Ken Roxon was very fast. The number 94 got an eight-second lead on Dungey. And Ken Roxon won the first moto in Hangtown. In 250 Moto 1, the number 71 of Zach Bell got the whole shot with his teammate Justin Bogle on the number 32 right with him. But Jeremy Martin was right there to take the lead. He went from third to first. A little bit further back, Jason Anderson came together with Marvin Muskan. After finishing on the podium in third at the opening round, Cole Seeley's day ended early at Hangtown with a mechanical issue. Justin Bogle was doing everything he could to hold off Cooper Webb on the number 37 Yamaha when Webb goes into the berm. Cooper Webb would come back to pass Bogle on the number 32 in the battle for second place. In the end, it was a repeat of the opening round one week ago as the Yamaha Star Racing Team finished 1-2 yet again. Jeremy Martin with another strong ride, undefeated through three motos. In 450 Moto 2, it was two Kawasaki's up front off the start. Brett Metcalf on the number 24 and Jake Weimer on the number 12. Justin Barsha was running in third and it was wide open early on. Metcalf's lead was short-lived as Watson takes his line away and made the pass for the lead. Late in the race, Trey Kennard on the number 41 makes contact with Brett Metcalf. He would go on to pass his teammate Justin Barsha and assume third position. Ken Watson gets a redemption. After coming up short last week, he takes the overall win in Hangtown. Ryan Dungey goes 2-2 to finish in second overall. Trey Kennard finished 3-4 to round out the podium in third. In 250 Moto2, Jeremy Martin on his number 19 Yamaha was strong from the start. Martin took the whole shot and took off. It was three Yamahas up front with Christoph Purcell and Cooper Webb in second and third. Justin Vogel was in fourth place when his day came to an end with this violent crash. In the end, it was Jeremy Martin out in front with a 20-second lead and finishing four for four. The Minnesota native is perfect through the first two rounds. Cooper Webb went 2-2 and finished second overall. Christoph Purcell went 8-3 and finished on the podium in third. Justin Hill finished in fourth, and Jesse Nelson rounded out the overall podium in fifth. The Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship rolls on to Lakewood, Colorado for round three, the Thunder Valley Nationals.